Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf out here on the driving range at Les Bolstead today, joined by Mr. Jake Montgomery, the fitting manager at the Minneapolis store. Uh, we've got a new Callaway driver. Mm -hmm. So we've got, obviously, throughout the whole year, Jake, you've been fitting Paradigm AI Smoke, um, both, you know, whether it's the Triple Diamond, you know, it's the Max, mm -hmm. Max Fast, you know, yep. we've got this whole series, and now another addition to it, the Triple Diamond Max. Mm -hmm. um, and it, for me anyway, it just totally reminds me of, I think it was the Epic series and the Rogue ST series where yes. they had the Max LS model. Mm -hmm. So um, it seems to be kind of what Callaway is going back to with this. Talk to me about what your first kind of impressions are with this one. Yes, I was really excited when I saw that they announced this. Um, their Max Forgiveness low spin drivers have always performed super well. When I'm doing a use fitting, I almost always grab a Max LS because most players need forgiveness and they need mm -hmm. low spin. This does both very, very well. So this is 10 cc's bigger. This is yep. a 460, the triple diamond is a 450. A little different weights in here as well. 10 in the front, four in the back, whereas it's a 14 and a two in the triple diamond. So there's a little more neutral weighting there. Um, looking down at it, it's not too much bigger. I mean, you can see the size a little bit, but it just looks really clean. I'm real excited to hit it. Yeah, and I mean, it's also, it's still packed with all the same I guess, technology that's yeah, in the rest of the AI Smoke driver line. Yep. So, you know, that AI Smart Face is obviously mm -hmm. the big part of that, that I know you guys have been really impressed with in the bays. Yes. A lot of forgiveness, that unique face architecture there. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, It's been very successful so far. So this is, this is fun because this is really kind of, if you're someone who wants low spin, but just seems like the triple diamond isn't quite forgiving enough. And I feel like there's a pretty good contingent yeah. of players that might fall into that category. I think that's where Callaway's aiming with, mm -hmm. with this driver. So, um, yeah, we've got the driving range out here. We've got the launch monitor. Um, let's, let's hit some shots, huh? Let's do it. All right, so, Mr. Montgomery, mm -hmm. uh, we got the Triple Diamond Max AI yeah, Smoke Driver. Put it down to the dress and tell me kind of what you see. Um, does it look like more of a low spin head? Does it look more like a high I would say max head? It definitely looks like more of a low spin head. This really still kind of trims down there at the back, which I like the okay. look of a lot. It's not super wide and bulbous back there where it feels like I'm it's like swinging a boat or something like that. Right, right. Um, it's got a great shaping to it. It's, I honestly don't even notice that it's a little bigger. It okay. looks pretty similar over the ball. Uh, I'd say, if anything, maybe top to bottom, it looks a little bigger. Yeah, that makes um, sense. But, they probably would maybe deepen that face a little bit, at least compared to the, the Max head for sure. Yeah, other than that, not noticing too much there. Okay. Yeah, well, let's get a few shots in here. Oh my goodness, yeah. That felt pretty good. That uh, that was hit pretty well. That's a pretty good first swing. Yeah, we yeah, are directly like on the center line. All right. I am trying to zoom in very, very far. Yeah, that <laughs> he might have landed that. It's pretty close. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. Wow, so yeah, 272 carry, 2146 mm -hmm. spin. Um, you know, apex height of 88 feet for yeah. 297 total. Yeah, your side total. Uh huh. So side from the, the line is yeah. one yard. Okay. A little more fade to it. That's interesting because I feel like that one tried to like kind of flutter and sort uh -huh. of be spinny, but I don't, it really wasn't that spinny. Yeah, 2600 yeah, 2, on the miss, right? Yeah. So 274, see the carry distance kept up, 274 mm -hmm. there. Um, what was the total distance compared between the two? Total distance, we had 297, that was 296. Okay. So, pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, 148 on Smash, that one. So, you just have the mm -hmm. face a little bit open. Yeah. Nothing crazy, though. No, and that felt like it was going a lot further right than it did. Yeah. I mean, still, that was probably kind of like, you know, borderline right rough there, I would say, okay. depending on where you got the fairway lined up at. Oh, yeah. A little pull there. Perhaps, it, perhaps so a correction much. from the last swing a little yeah. bit, but still a good ball. Yeah, Very consistent spin. distance here. That one carried 271 for a total of 297. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, I like him. I'm liking the number so far. That one's 2400 spin. Yeah, this looks like it's a pretty darn consistent driver so far. Again, through three swing. Wow. That's some hang time to what, it. What, uh, you gonna be making a driver change here, Jake? Might be. <laughs> I mean, this thing's looking real good. Yeah. 271 carry again. 290. I mean, this is this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> All right. I need if, if you can make one more really good swing, we might have 
right. something. Let's get one over 300 here. That's still, it's, I, I think we're going to have a pretty darn good uh, situation. Okay, that one pounded. Yeah. Okay, so the spin went down on that one, interestingly. Uh -huh. I think um, I swung up on a little bit more. A little bit more of a knuckly kind of, yeah. You got three degrees up on that attack angle. Okay. All right, so this is going to be fun. We have uh -huh. a really good consistency here in the distance. So bring up all the shots here. Um, I'm going to go to the carry. And what we're going to do is bring up all the shots. Mm -hmm. Carry numbers. Okay. 272, 274, 271, 271, 279. Yeah, I like that. That'll work. Total distance. Look at the first four. <laughs> <laughs> Within Two, a yard of each other. 297, 296, 297, 296, and then that last one, he got a little bit extra on mm -hmm. it, a little saucy, 305. Uh, so this is a spin rate. And these were, this is where it gets interesting because you yeah. had kind of the two that, at least the, the second shot for mm -hmm. sure was a little bit of a sort of that right miss that yeah. we thought would maybe go spin a ton. Mm -hmm. Really didn't go up that no. high, only to 2600. So the average there, as you come together on it, is 2336. Yeah. That that's is awesome. Like money zone yeah. right there, right? So now I play a low spin driver. That's about where my spin rate is. Right. So this thing is performing 164.5, ball speed yeah. is the average there. And again, Anything from 163.3 to 166.8. Mm -hmm. That last yeah. one he had a little bit of juice behind, as we yeah. talked about. Um, and then the Smash Factor, 147 to 14. I mean, yeah, this is just great, right? So I love this thing. This thing is uh, that. Those are some very, very good numbers. And in terms mm -hmm. of the dispersion too, I was going to show you just how like, you know, the, the horizontal, right? Like how yeah. consistent the distance is. And you That's had a couple crazy. that we hit. You hit some really good. Mm -hmm. You had one or two maybe that didn't quite catch perfect. Yeah, but. To see the distance be that consistent is obviously very, mm -hmm. very cool to see. I mean, seeing that level of forgiveness in a low spin driver is pretty impressive. Yeah, and that's like, where they kind of had, it's, that's where Callaway, I think, has sort of found something with this, you know, that Epic Series of 2021, mm -hmm. Rogue ST in 2022, and now this one, these sort of Max LS, or in this case, Triple Diamond Max heads, where they find that combination of yeah. low spin and forgiveness that is, can be lethal as we're seeing mm -hmm. here. Um, I mean, like I said, that Rogue ST Max LS was a weapon in the yeah. bay. When it was new, I mean, I sold more than I could count, honestly. Yeah. Because most plate people need lower spin drivers, yeah. but they don't want to sacrifice all that forgiveness on a miss. Right. This does the combination of both of those very well, and that's the reason they've been so successful in the past, and I think this model will be as well. Yeah, that's uh, clearly they've. there's a formula there that they, you know, they didn't quite have it with the Paradigm series, mm -hmm. and so very very cool to see them go back to it here yeah um and then i guess lastly here as we kind of we're going to dive into it a little bit in the final thoughts here but comparing it to the max comparing it to the triple diamond we've kind of talked about aesthetically the differences mm -hmm. in looks um having hit all of them now before yeah. and again we don't have them here today by the way there will be a comparison of all of them here together soon stay tuned for that um what would you say the difference is between you know kind of compare this to the triple mm -hmm. diamond and also compare it to the max i would say it Looks wise is very similar to that triple diamond. Yeah. If you set the two next to each other, you might notice just a marginal size difference. The tail end of this looks a lot more like the triple diamond as well. Yeah. Um, but feel off the face felt a lot more like the max. Okay. I didn't feel as bad of a miss when I left it right or left it left. Um, and they just really stayed on target pretty well. I didn't lose any distance out of it. I think this is really just a combo best of both worlds. Yeah. I think uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what they're going for here. So. I mean, yeah, Jake, this was some really good testing. I think Calorie's got a lot to be excited about here. Yeah, yeah, they do. All right, Jake, testing complete there. Mm -hmm. The Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond Max driver. Um, really good stuff. I mean, yep. that's as consistent of five driver swings, at least in terms of distance, carry in total, that I've seen in a while. Yeah. Um, so we always kind of like to ask who's it for in these final segments. Mm -hmm. um, Kind of talk about the golfer that would best be a fit for this driver. Yeah, so I would say this is for your mid to low handicapper. Oftentimes, maybe someone that swings down or across the ball that adds a bit more spin, or they need to get that taken off here. Um, not to say that if you hit up or draw the ball, like I do that, I love this driver. Um, it can work for a multitude of people, but I would say if you need maximum forgiveness, I'd still go with that max or even the max D. Yeah. This isn't going to be your slice kill or anything like that. This is really primarily targeting low spin while maintaining ball speed. So if spin is your main issue, this is a great place to go as long as you don't want to sacrifice any forgiveness. Right, there. yeah, yeah. And there's also, we didn't even mention too, obviously that OptiFit Hosel has a bunch mm -hmm. of options to it. Yep. And we talked about briefly the weights. Yes. 10 gram and four gram. So mm -hmm. 
Um, otherwise, you said a little bit more neutral there. So yep. the, the change in them is not super significant, mm -hmm. but obviously there is the possibility to make those changes. Yes, yeah, so if you want lower spin, you put the heavier weight up front. If you want more forgiveness, you put the heavier weight in the back. Yep, exactly. Well, golfers, Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond Max Driver, um, going to be a great one this mm -hmm. year in 2024. Um, as we talked about and as you saw in the testing, just fantastic stuff. So go get fit, see which Paradigm AI Smoke Driver fits you the best. It might be this one. It could be, as you mentioned, the Max, Max D or the Triple Diamond. Yep. Um, let someone like Jake take care of you in the second swing tour van. So uh, Jake, thanks for joining, hitting the shots. This is really good test here. Yeah, thanks for letting me hit it.